Dana White responds to Glover to Shiraz request for a title shot. Yeah, it's something we need to figure out, but I heard him and I agree with him. And I'm taking him serious, so yeah, I'm not going to doubt this guy anymore, White said. I was sitting, listening to him give his interview. He's not wrong. You know what I mean? He's like, I deserve this shot. He's been here forever. He's on a streak. He looked great tonight. And what's funny is, every time I count this guy out and think, I don't know if he's got it, he proves me wrong. He looked incredible tonight. So that's what Dana said. I mean, with Blachowicz hoping to step back into the octagon in March, the UFC has time to figure out what to do with the title shot. Odds are Adesanya still gets the next crack at the belt but you can't count out White from changing his mind and giving it to Teixeira. John Jones explains why he is so glad Glover Teixeira defeated Thiago Santos at UFC Vegas. John Jones wrote on Twitter, so glad I don't have to read tweets about running from Santos. If he would have won, everyone would be talking mad trash tonight. UFC Vegas 13 bonus report Glover Teixeira left empty handed. Performance of the night Alexander Romanov picked up an extra 50k for his first round submission win over Marcos Rogerio de Lima. The undefeated heavyweight prospect finished the fight with a forearm choke, a submission seldom seen in the UFC. Performance of the night Giga Chikadze earned an extra 50k for his first round knockout victory over Jame Simmons. Chikaze connected with a head kick midway through the opening round that dropped Jame and then prominently closed out the fight with ground and pound. Fight of the night Bantamweight fighters Ravni Barcelos and Khalid Taha each pocketed an extra 50k for their amazing battle on tonight's main card. After 50 minutes of thrilling action, Rowney was awarded the unanimous decision victory from the judges in attendance. Yeah, I poured around him at the end of the third, knew he was hurt, real bloody. But when I seen his, he told me to throw the elbow, and then when I kind of backed up and seen his ear like falling out of his head, I was like, someone said I made a reaction on the video, I was like, ugh, it's over. Yan Xiaonan says she's one shot away from potential all-China title fight after UFC on ESPN+. Xiaonan on potentially earning a title shot, I think I'm one shot away from getting a title shot from Dana White. Everybody's seen my entire grappling tactics, I'm getting better. Xiao Nan on a potential title fight with Zhang Weili. If it's going to be a championship fight, it's going to show the whole world how strong Chinese women really are. Xiao Nan on Gidelia wilting under the pace. She was getting tired between the second and third round, so everything was pretty lazy. Even pushing me to the cage, she was pretty lazy.